Hello YouTube, um, we're going to be covering mobs today, so first thing that we need to do is create a mob texture, so I have my texture here. Um, it has to be based on a model, so if you followed my previous tutorials, um, you need to create a um, texture map from, well you don't need to create it, but you need to edit it at least from entity, and then you have to find which map you want. Um, I'm using the um, pig map, so it's right here, this one. Uh, Alright, so first thing we're going to need to do, and this is going to be a little bit longer tutorial of setting it all up, but whatever. Um, mob zombie pig and we select mob and we're going to choose our um, file that we have for our map so the texture for it. We're going to click open and now we have our map for it and we're going to choose pig since it's a pig and it's based on a monster and the egg color I would say somewhere uh, yeah and that'll look good All right. um, so this is just the egg cutter and that's telling him what kind of mob it is. This is saying okay well we're using the pig model and this is just for um, the um, to load the map. Um, this I don't know mob label. I'm guessing it's for the egg. I'm not entirely sure. There's no help for it so uh, you just put zombie pig in last time and name of mob so we're gonna call it so this is gonna be the name of the mob and I think it's similar to GUI but I'm not entirely sure so okay this one is the behavior character so um is it a mob? Is it a creature? Is it a flying animal? Is it water based? Um, since we're going with um, well, a zombie pig, it would fall under mob, not creature. Creature is peaceful and mob is aggressive. Um, attack strength. Um, three seems to be a good number. Um, movement speed. Bring that up to about four, I would say. No, three. Give it. We'll try three. Um, equipment. So this one right here, you can select the um, equipment. It starts with um, handheld item, head, um, body, legs, and then um, boots. Um, health. So how much health um, does it have? Um, since it's a pig, I think five would be just fine. Um, mob drops and rare drops. So this one's mob drops. So since it's a zombie pigman, we're going to select rotten flesh. And then I think a carrot would be a good rare drop because pigs are followed by carrots. I don't know. Don't ask me. It just seemed right. Alright, so experience amount, this is how much experience you get from it. Um, I'm just going to leave mine at 5. And these ones are the sounds that it makes. So, living sound. Um, There we go, pig. Um, we'll just 
start with pig say and then work our way down. Now, I don't exactly know the sounds of what they sound like, um, so I'm just going to do 1, 2, and 3. They may not play because I don't know which ones are which, but... So, 2 and 3, there we go. Alright, so the these are the sounds, so living, hurt, and death. So, obviously, when it's living, it's walking around, and it, it's making a regular pig sound. Um, hurt is when you hit it, and death, which you can't quite see, death is uh, when it dies. So, pretty simple on <laughs> that part. Um, next, don't worry about this. Um, if you type something wrong in, most likely you'll get an error, so just leave that. Now, um, if you're having, if you're giving it custom AI, click that and then choose your AI here. Um, if it's based on a boss or if it, um, its health bar will be shown if you uh, check this box here. Um, if it isn't based on or if it is based on AI, then you just choose what it's based on. So I'm going to choose zombie and click next. And the last thing is, I think this is, yeah, last. Um, spawning priority. I'm going to bump that up to 50. And I'm just going to jack everything up pretty high. So. Um, there will be an easier chance of finding it. Maximum 50. Um, I think this is how much spawn in a group or with the lo chunks that are loaded. I'm not entirely sure. So um, I personally would keep it low if I you, but <laughs> if you want to experiment with that, you're more than welcome. Um, only on specific biomes does it only spawn in specific biomes so if it does then choose which biome you want it I'm not because I want to find it <laughs> um, does mobs spawn in dungeons um, don't think there's any help on that but nope so I guess if it spawns in dungeons um, and finish and I'll see you in game Alright, so I'm here, and there are a couple pigs in the desert. <laughs> that is totally weird. Why pigs would be in the desert, I have no idea. I guess it's because it's the apocalypse, but who cares? It's here, and that's what they look like. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, they got a little blood around their nozzle, and missing some stuff like zombie pigmen, I guess. I don't know. It looks very gruesome. <laughs> And, uh, well, I'll show you what happens if they, um, are in sunlight. Burn! <laughs> Too bad they don't give you cooked steak. <laughs> well, that would be a good mod. Um, yeah, so... Turn that off, and well, that one didn't make it. <laughs> All right, next thing we're gonna test is does it attack? So, um, I'm gonna give myself some tools. Actually, you probably wouldn't have a diamond sword right off the bat, so. Use iron. Alright. Actually, we'll just get rid of you. <laughs> we'll spawn a new one in. Well, we didn't spawn that one in. I found it, but... <laughs> Alright, so that's our egg color. Kind of a... You know. Whatever it looks like. Alright, so... Game mode... Zero. So as slow as it's going, it's still attacking. Oh. 
So, yeah, that's it. Get my ass kicked. Oh, one spawn egg. Ooh. <laughs> see if it drops a carrot. Nope. Too bad. Well, that's that. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it.